Welcome back to Bonnie Scotland. We have some fine Scottish weather today. It's about 7 or 6 degrees with some rain and a little bit of wind. And you can see Glasgow in the distance and Ben Lomond. I want to tell you about this little code generator that I've made using React and Redux. Now Facebook have come up with this little thing called Create React App, which allows you to create React applications without much of the heavy lifting to do with things like Webpack and building and ESLint and things. So when you're using Create React App, your dependencies are a lot more simple. We have none of the Webpack dependencies and lots of build script dependencies here. We just run React script start, which will bundle the code and serve it on a local server. So to run this application, we just run npm start and react, create React app scripts will start and serve it on port 3000. So here is the application running. Now what this little code generator does is it will take JSON and generate certain types of code and output here. Now this is very much a work in progress, but I just wanted to let you know how this thing works. So I have some a gist here and I have some JSON. Now this could be an example of any type of JSON from, from a backend server that we'd want to use in our application. And what I've done here is I've tried to create a ways of generating code that this JSON could be useful to, to, to work with. So if we go into our little app here and paste this in, then it will generate this code. Now for ES6, I've sort of created a, a class here and I've created some constructor that would take in this object. Now all this code is, oh, that's a bug. It shouldn't have a comma there. I'll fix that later. Um, so we can also generate a TypeScript class from this. Uh, the difference between the ES6 code and TypeScript is that in TypeScript we have fields, which I've also generated here. I'm also performing some analysis on this variable here and, and trying to decide whether it's a number or a string or what's called uh, or, or a separate class. So, for example, this has a nested object here and I've created another class in its generated code. I've also created a bootstrap3 form code from this. So this is sort of the typical form inputs that you'd use and, and the sort of the boot, bootstrap styles. So this sort of stuff is really boring to code, so this might help. Also, uh, I've created a little thing that uh, Ember Data, Ember's a, another application framework which I used before, and this will generate some model data from this. So in my application, I have an actions file um, we have actions are what are used in Redux to modify the state of the application. Now, when we change the source code here, we fire up, we fire off actions. So, if we change some stuff here, we should see the changes happen live here. Um, when we change one of these things up here, we fire a update code generation options. Now the way actions are handled in Redux is that we have reducers. Now when you have more than one reducer you can combine them. Uh, at the moment we just have the one reducer but we have it, I'm combining it anyway. So what we have is that when we have uh, an action fired, uh, if it's the update code generation options, which is this stuff up here, we, um, we update the state. Uh, we have our generate code function, which is the code that is output to here. What the what the, the result of this is is that this code here is rendered to the output code from JSON, which we read in this field here. Now these are all my generators. I've created a generator for each type of file type. So these are all quite similar. This code is quite messy. I haven't figured out a way to make it cleaner, but I'm sure there is a way. I'm sure there's a way to combine these to make it less repetitive. Uh, if anyone else has an idea, I'm all ears. So how the code generator works is that we are taking the initial state from this code here and we're parsing it into an object and then we're passing it to the generate code method. Now the generate code then passes 
the uh, the parse JSON object to one of our generators. And the generators are looping over the object and checking some properties and then this is the place where we are generating the actual code. Now the actual React app itself, uh, <coughs> we have our code controls. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to get a glass of water. I'll try not to fall over the chairs in the meantime. Ah, water, the drink of champions. So here is our application. We have several controls. We have our code controls, which is this bit up here. And we have our source input, which is this bit here. And we have a rendered code, which is it here. Now, actually, I built this application a few months ago. Uh, I was only just using one React component, and it was a lot easier to see everything in one place. But Redux allows you to simplify things uh, for applications that will be very large. So here is the React component that is taking our output code. We have a paragraph, which is we are setting the HTML with this dangerously set in our HTML. This is one of those things where React is trying to say, don't do this, this is quite dangerous, but most people will do it anyway because there is that's how you do these things in React. I have this raw markup function, which then allows me to change this code here directly from, or, or create create um, from a template from a string, creating this code exactly the way that we want it to look. So here we are assigning properties from the store to the state of this component. Whatever the value is here is what will be presented in this. We have our Code controls. This is a radio group. I've borrowed a radio group from this amazing uh, npm package, which allows me easier to work with React and radio buttons. I'm assigning assigning the options output code type directly to the selected value of this radio group, and when this changes, we dispatch this action, which will then trigger the reducer which will then update the code type that is generated in, in there. Oh, this is riveting stuff, isn't it? So we have our constants, which are nice for storing magic strings into ways that we can use uh, autocompletion to use. And we have some code types. This is what I pass into the code controls. And I'm creating my types array, and then I'm looping over it um, creating each radio button uh, within this map function here. So I hope you like my rather not so gentle introduction to React and Redux. Um, I hope you also like my idea of my code generator. I I hope to be updating this more in the future as well. Um, maybe I'll start. I will wait for the community to feedback and with what kind of things they would like me to code generate in the future. So. See you next time. Bye.